South America kind of Oregon State. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I appreciate everybody's patience. Man, um, really fun atmosphere tonight. I thought our team started really fast. Um, showed what we were capable of from an efficiency standpoint, really on all, all phases of the game, uh, from special teams um, to offense and defense. I thought we played complete. I'm extremely disappointed with the penalties and, and how they hurt us there. It's something we coached really hard, but we're not coaching it well enough. So that's the first thing we're going to attack. We have to figure out how to make sure we're accountable as a program. Talk about going into half with a ton of momentum and three penalties end up leaving, uh, leading to a score there at the end of the first half. So that's extremely frustrating. Something we want to correct, you know, penalties again in that last series that led to another score. So if we haven't figured out the formula yet, I'm, I'm disappointed in us. Now, I don't want that to overshadow a lot of the positive that happened. You know, I thought we moved the line of scrimmage. I thought we applied pressure. I thought our coaches had a really good plan. Um, but we're certainly not satisfied. Um, was thrilled about the crowd tonight. Thought they were electric, showed up for a big game. And I know they're going to even be better next week. So we can open it up. Sorry, Aaron, second row on the left. Eric? Leading up to this week, you talked a lot about their explosive pass tech, like to stretch it vertically. I think their longest completion was, was 15 yards. Just how do you feel like you did there and, and what stood out from your secondary as a whole? Yeah, I thought uh, we had bodies on bodies, you know, primarily most of the night. And I think, you know, the best coverage at times can be a good rush, right? And I thought we had a good rush throughout the night. Um, you know, but again, we have to learn to be able to play with the ball in the air and, and not – cost penalties because you look at third down penalty there that led to a an opportunity for them to go down and have an opportunity to score so um really solid performance at times but we're certainly looking for opportunities to get better on the right zach obviously talked about penalties and last week we were talking about it as well as that how do you address yeah, we that? better not be talking about it next week how do you address that this week is it yeah. something different or is it just drilling well, i'm not going to do the same thing again and again and expect the different results so we're going to do something different Right, and we're gonna figure out if we can get it fixed. Right, and if we can't, then they, they can't be on the field. If you're gonna get penalties, you can't be on the field. Right, and that's gonna be that simple. Right, if you get a penalty, you can't play for us. You're hurting the team. Front left, James. We certainly covered that ground. Then outside of the penalties, is there anything that jumps out at you that you weren't happy about tonight? Because, like you say, to overshadow, there was a lot of positive. Is there anything other than penalties that you weren't pleased about? I'm gonna find something. Yeah, I'm going to find something. I can't tell you something right now, um, but I'll find something, right? We're not going to be satisfied um, with that result. That being said, I did think that our we were really close to playing a complete game. Like I thought in a lot of ways we were really close to playing a complete game, but that overshadowed it a little bit for me. Now we're right out. Another big Tez game um, after last week. He had the two touchdowns today. What what do you kind of make of his, his early season and how he's kind of stepped in and um, you know played really well for you guys right off the bat? Yeah, I think he's had um, some really great performances that those performances show up more so in practice. I'm going to challenge him to go catch the punt return right in the air so we can uh, save some hidden yards. I'm going to challenge him to hold on to the ball better and not put it in jeopardy. You know, sometimes we didn't turn over the ball tonight, right? But there's a thing called ball in jeopardy plays. And there were some ball in jeopardy plays where we gave an opportunity for the opponent to be able to go attack it. And we got to do a better job of that. But I'm really pleased with Tez. Um, I'm really pleased with all those wideouts, right? There's some guys in there that are making us better. Uh, but I want to make sure that we continue to grow. See over here on the right, Jared. Yeah, Dan, I know you got to watch the film, but what did you make of Jordan Birch's performance? Obviously, gets the first sack of his Oregon career today. Yeah, I, I, I ha exactly that. I got to go watch the film, but I know when that guy plays with violent um, physical effort, like I know he's capable of, that he can be a dominant player. And I think that showed up early in the game, right? And, uh, you know, I thought we were assignment sound tonight, right? You know, some sometimes in the past two weeks, I'm talking about the entire defense, um, the entire offense, but when we executed our job, you know, we're, we're generally going to like the results. And I thought everybody in the framework of the defense executed their job and they made the plays when they came to him, right? When their opportunity came, they did a good job making the play. And Jordan did a great job on that rush tonight. Uh, I hope that's first of many for him. All the way in the back, Matt. Trey Sean Holden, another receiver that had a big game, two touchdowns. That second one went 60 yards. Just your thoughts on your receivers in general, too. Of just they can catch it and make one man miss, and it's open field. You know, and Treshawn, that was some great plays from him tonight. I'm really excited to see him go get that. But I wrote down, like, man, we got to go hit the jugs because I saw some drops out there, too. Right, like let's figure out how we can catch him better. So, um, really pleased. But you know, in games that are going to be tighter down the wire, like every opportunity matters, right? And how can we challenge ourselves to improve there? But was really glad to see him have a big game. You know, he started for us on kickoff as well. Um, did some like how many roles can guys serve for our team? We got a lot of numbers. Right? I don't know how many guys play tonight. I'll know r relatively soon. But we played a lot of people, and for us to be the team we can be, I want to continue to play a lot of people.
Right here on the right, second row. Yeah, just piggybacking off of that, uh, 10 different guys at the reception tonight. How important and how much of a stable to the offense is the depth of this team? Yeah, it's really important, right? Because you can't play a whole season with the same guys, right? And and then the reality is next year there's going to be a new team. But who are we developing on our roster to become elite players down the road, right? And I see guys out there making plays for us now that didn't have a huge role on our team last year, but they're making plays for us now. We want to see that continue to grow and develop. Back right. Uh, Coach, what do you want to see from your team heading into this week where conference games are starting and they feel like they have a little bit more importance to them? Well, I think every game is important, so that, that doesn't necessarily change for us. But what do I want to see? Growth, right? I want to see guys – like I saw a team when I walked in that locker room tonight, their eyes were burning through their skull because they're hungry to get better, right? And that's what I want to continue to see. Like they don't need any extra motivation, right? I got a group of dogs in there that want to go, right? So let's just – let's let that carry over to Monday. Right. What's Monday practice going to look like? What's Tuesday going to look like? And then I can predict the result on Saturday if those look right. Here on the left, Eric. What would you make of Ty and how he handled the moment and the composure he showed and just how he executed the offense out there? Yeah, I thought he was like extremely engaged throughout the game and ready as soon as his opportunity called and handled it really well. You know, I know um, the rollout pass there, the naked that he had early, I think he probably wishes he had that one back, could have put it in front of uh, Casey a little bit. Um, but overall, he's done a good job of operating our system when he's gotten in. Right here on front right, Zach. Feels like Jaleel has really taken a jump from last year to this year and from the first week of the season to now. What do you think his game's really improved the most? Yeah, I think he's always been capable. I think his focus has gone to another level, right? And I, and I think there's another level in there. Right? I think there's another step for that guy. Um, but I think he's got a great ability. I'm going to continue to challenge him to kind of, you know get better and continue to make plays and, and become elite in that area. Front left, James. This is the popo that many of us saw years ago and a guy who you didn't have a chance to see last year. What is he meaning to your defense to have what he's bringing for you by way of pass rush from between the guard spots? I wish he could play 10 years, right? Like, how long has he been in college? Yeah, Popo, I'm really, really pleased with. And he's he's wearing it, you know, on his face in practice, his excitement to be around the game of football again. He's a guy that's had a lot of reps and a lot of experience. But when he shows up on Saturday, that he makes us a different team. And I've always thought the game's one up front. Right when you can dominate um, in the interior, you've got a chance to be really, really successful. And Popo certainly makes us better. And we've got a few guys in there rolling that can make us better. Back middle, Trevor. Um, you had those helmet decals for Maui. Tons of stuff on the video board. Why was that important for you guys to really emphasize that that Polynesian culture tonight during the game? Well, ultimately, it's bigger than football, right? And we have a platform that we need to be able to use for great causes, right? And um, that's a cause worth, you know, uh, you know, fighting for and doing something for. So uh, it means a lot to our players. We have a lot of players that are touched, you know, by the the events in Maui. Um, but it just means a lot to us as a program to have the opportunity to give back. So it's always going to be about more than football for us. On the right middle, Al. Uh, obviously, you still have to review the film from this last game, but what – your kind of first thoughts now that you know non-conference is behind you guys and you know you are looking ahead to to conference play well i'm hoping you guys will stop asking me questions so i can go watch the rest of their game you know um but no we're excited to go play a great opponent this is going to be uh an awesome atmosphere for oregon ducks and this is like these are one of those marquee games that we're really really excited about so we know we're gonna get everybody's best which is exactly what we want Right, and I got a lot of respect for that team. It's obviously a completely different team than it was last year. Right, so let's see uh, what it looks like when we go on their field. We hope we get their best, and we're certainly going to try to give them ours. Back left here, Joe. Uh, looking at next week, Dan, how would you assess the job Dion has done so far at Colorado, and, and just how would you describe the challenge that, that they bring in here next week? Yeah, I, you know, I obviously have to take a deeper dive in it, but, you, you know, you have to be a fool to – to not recognize the results that they've created on a team that didn't have a lot of success before. So he's done a phenomenal job. He's recruited a lot of players that I'm familiar with personally um, that are there playing for him. He's got a good roster, and they're winning games, right? And it doesn't always matter how, but they're winning games. So obviously he's doing something right up there. Second row on the right here. What do you think of the three backs, Bucky, Jordan, and Noah, and uh, how important is it for you to be able to spread out the wealth uh, among touches throughout the game? Yeah, I, I don't know if that's as important as when you have guys that are good enough, you want to make sure they continue to have roles for us. Um, I don't know exa about each guy's individual performance. You know, I thought there were some great runs, and then I thought there were some runs that could have been better. You know, I'll say that our guys ran with toughness the entire night. Um, we got I got to go back and watch to see that we hit our tracks on certain plays where we maybe a little too antsy on others. Um, we ha we own the ball, and that's something we have to continue to do. So we'll continue to look for that in the future. All the way in the back, Matt. 
made it clear there's a lot of things you're happy about, but there's also a lot that, that can be cleaned up. Do you feel like this team has been receptive of that message as well? Do they, do they feel the same way as, as you do? Yeah, our guys are always great about how can we get better. And this team, to me, is, is taking that to another level. Like, we have leaders on this team right now. And, you know, you wonder about that. Do you really have that? We, we truly do have leaders on this team, and they have a voice, right? And if they decide to take the bull by the horns, right, it gives us an opportunity to be special. Right here on the front right, Zach. With this upcoming opponent, because of what has been said, because of what will be said this week, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of national attention on this upcoming game. That's not something that this team has really dealt with yet this year. How do you want to go in and kind of, you know, emphasize the fact that it's just, you know, block everything out? Yeah, play the game, not the occasion, right? Play the game, not the occasion, right? They have homecoming uh, as well, right? And you get the homecoming dance and you have the parade. But guess what? Everybody cares about the football game. That's what we're going to do. Go play the football game. No offense to the parade or anything else. Last question here, James. <laughs> Realize you won't play as strict a run and shoot scheme again, and probably not quite as much of last week's scheme. But is there anything from these past two games that you think could help you and apply specifically to next week and their aerial assault and what they try to do in a passing game? Last yeah, week? I have a ton of respect for their offensive coordinator. I think he does a great job, and I know he does a good job of looking at what you've uh, what you've done on film and where weaknesses exist and exploiting that in the future. So um, we have to look at ourselves. Right, as intently as he's going to look at us in ways to attack us. So I think that's really important this week. You know, what are the things that have hurt us? Because it'll show up, and the future is going to show up throughout the season. So I always say, if you don't want to see something, make sure it doesn't happen. Right, but um, some of those things that happen to us, so we got to make sure we're ready for them when they come up again. Thank you, coach. Appreciate you guys. Congrats on the win. We got Trey Sean holding ready to go out here. Go home. Mr. Ryan, you only have to raise your hand one time.